Hey guys, Quang and Grazer here, back again with another Mass Effect Andromeda video, and in this video we're going to be playing as a human engineer, it's a class that I haven't played as yet, it looks pretty cool, as you can see I'm decked out in this like bright fuchsia pink colour, just to make me more obvious and get shot at even more, I guess, but uh, I haven't played as the uh, human en engineer yet, I have no idea what the powers do or anything, I guess that was energy drain, and we've got a turret, we've got a cryo blast on right bumper, god the music kicks in, it's so well done the music is, as per usual, but yeah we're going to be playing as uh, Hey, a human engineer. How is someone down already? We're gonna be playing as uh, the human engineer. Like I said, I haven't played as him yet. Seems pretty cool. I think he's got the same amount of shields and health. Oh my god, wow, I'm just fighting the crossfire. I think he's got about the same amount of shields and health as the other human default characters. I think they've all, they all start out with the same amount. I don't think any of them have like different ones, unless obviously, unless you uh, upgrade them. Let's try to get, okay, yeah, that's like a cryo blast. That's really cool, actually. Haven't upgraded any of the, uh, any of the uh, the abilities I've upgraded is passive abilities a little bit because you get like three skill points with it just for I don't know like just to start with them or maybe because you've played because I've played the other uh, classes the other human classes I don't know but I've got three skill points with them like I did with uh, like the infiltrator and stuff and um, I leveled up my passive things so like you know t plus 15 percent shield health or whatever shield you know percentage and stuff but I haven't leveled up any of his uh, normal abilities i always go for the passive abilities first i just think that's the right way to do it because it gets your your character you know the foundation of your character more powerful and more you know take more damage and stuff and they take more of a beating and then i go for the the other abilities after that but i'm probably going to be doing like an updated version of this uh, video once you know once i got more powerful and everything and i will be doing that with the uh, other classics as well just uh, i'm just gonna level up more with the uh, with all the characters i've only got like four hours left of uh, the trial. If I had to stay stuck at like a 10 hour trial instead of following the method that I showed you guys where you get more, get longer uh, on the trial. If I, if I only had 10 hours, God, I, I don't know what I'd do because God, 10 hours is not a long enough. Even if it's just a trial, it is not long enough to play this awesome game. I'm quite liking this guy actually. Again, he's another guy that doesn't bring a helmet to the battle for some reason you think you would, but uh, it's quite cool, and I like the the color of his arm. The only thing I don't like about his, the look of this character is you get stuck with like a default brown. You can see the undersuit there; it's brown. I didn't make it that color. I don't. I think that looks like cat sick brown. It, it does look like uh, you know congealed cat sick. It doesn't look very cool. Uh, I didn't make the armor that color. It just sort of comes with it. It's not the best, I'll admit, but uh, the other colors, the other parts of the armor, is pretty damn cool. So far, I think all of the uh, out of all of the default classes that you get to start off with. I think the, the Vanguard, the human Vanguard, probably has the coolest, in my opinion. That is my opinion. So, oh crap, I'm about to die. I am about to die. I've never got enough for a gold pack, though. I'm definitely going to do a uh, gold, uh, open up a gold pack soon. Maybe get some ultra rare uh, or rare weapons or rare uh, characters. That I really want a character. One character I really want is the Biotic Vanguard. Uh, he's such a tough character. I was saying it to one of you guys in the, uh, the, in the comments of one of my videos. Uh, he's such a tough character, obviously because he's programmed, but also because he's, uh, oh crap, but also because he's uh, uh, like biotic based, he's also got a lot of cool powers. Usually the tougher ones don't really have the most focus on the powers, more focus on taking damage and giving out damage. At least that's, you know, in Mass Effect 3, that's what like some of the, like the Geth Juggernaut or the Geth Prime was, for example, or some of the Krogans were, for example, but the Geth, the, the oh crap, crap, but the, uh, the Krogan Vanguard is going to be very biotic based, but it's also going to have good shield and health levels. He's going to be able to take a beating, and you're going to be able to kill people with a headbutt. You can't do that with any of the other classes, which is pretty damn cool. Obviously, unless you play as the Krogan. That's just the Krogan's thing. Headbutt the people that you don't get on with. That, and I agree. That's that's the right way of, uh, to go about life, really. I should pop a... Uh... Oh, I have to freaking deactivate my turret. I don't, I don't like these turrets, man. Crap. All right. I guess someone ran here. Someone can run here. God, I love how you automatically get in cover. It's so, it's so handy. And it's just something that. Should, oh crap! It should have been. The, oh well, off I go. Something that should have been in the game. Uh, anyway. Uh, well, in the in the other games. Oh crap! I'm dead. I'm dead. Three more to go. Someone gonna help me up? I'm gonna give them a chance to help me up. Yeah, I think this handy man is very handy. He's very handy. He's, he's reviving me. He's playing as the Infiltrator. It's such a good uh, class to play as. Oh no, he's not playing as the Infiltrator unless he's a Solarian Infiltrator. Uh, infiltrators are generally such a good class to, to, uh, to play as if no one else is an infiltrator on your team because you can revive people. You're really good. It's like the best class to revive people with because uh, you can go completely invisible, which is always very useful. 
I did a video on uh, the human infiltrate before, and I really, really enjoyed playing as him. In fact, uh, it was really fun. I really enjoyed it. Really, don't know. Uh, this he's it's either the infiltrator, the human infiltrator, or the uh, human vanguard. That's my favorite so far. But I've really only got the default classes available, and then a Krogan engineer available. I haven't got any other classes apart from that. I'm hoping I'll get some from uh, like a gold pack that I open. Uh, I'll probably put that in a video, actually. I'm not going to do a, a video just about uh, opening a pack, but I might stick that in at the end of this video if I do uh, If I do open it at the end of this video. If I, if I have enough credits, I think it's 50,000 credits. You need about 38,000. So depending on how much, how many credits I get at the end of this match, I might open it and I'll uh, record that little bit and uh, leave it in the video for you guys. I know some guys like pack opening and stuff like that. I'm, not, I'm just not going to be one of those guys that makes a complete video about something like that. It's not my style. But we'll put it in the video. God, this thing. Wow, this guy's powers are actually really good against these guys. Like the observers and the uh, these this faction to fight against. Very good when you're playing against uh, an uh, playing as an, an engineer. The, the powers you get are very good at dealing with these guys. In fact, this one, the energy drain is really decent, and uh, the cool another uh, cool the cryo blast is also very good as well. Oh, we're gonna take this guy. I'm rocking with a matok. I haven't uh, packed a secondary weapon because uh, when you only pack one weapon. Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh no! When you only pack one weapon, you can uh, regen powers quicker, and you can and you, you have a, a smaller power cool, cooldown. You can do uh, more powers, and obviously this guy's the engi engineer, and engineer and biotics are always going to be quite uh, power focused and power related. So I thought I'd uh, only rock with one weapon, give him a bit of an advantage in that department. Yeah, get the frozen bitch. Let's get some ammo. I'm learning where the ammo caches are now. It, it was something I went through with Mass Effect 3's multiplayer as well. I just didn't know where the ammo was a lot of the time. Uh, until for, it took me ages to learn where they were. But once it did, uh, once it did, it became useful. All the ammo boxes. It seems like they've added more ammo, ammo boxes to the uh, maps than they did in Mass Effect 3, which is also good. Let's take this guy out here. We've got some freaking observers. Observe getting your ass kicked, dude. There we go, he's dead. Let's zap him. I like his zap ability. Oh, maybe not. Oh, wow. Wait, what? You can charge the zap ability. Oh, wow. I wonder if that makes it more powerful. What? You can freaking charge this as well. Oh, wow. I didn't... I did not realize that. I'm such a noob. You can actually charge... I heard it somewhere. I can't remember where... Uh, I think I definitely covered it in the Mass Effect. Uh, and Mass Effect Andromeda multiplayer video. The actual, the actual Mass Effect um, YouTube account. Uh, I think they covered it in, a, in one of their videos. I was just a noob. I forgot about it. But you can actually charge it. It actually does more damage and uh, carries on for longer. That's really cool. I didn't even realize that. I forgot that. God, so all of the classes that I've been playing out that could have in, in these videos, that could have actually been a lot more effective as in charge some of the uh, abilities. You probably won't be able to charge the uh, defensive abilities, such as like turret, for example, because why would you want to charge a turret? It's just going to be a turret at the end of the day. But like offensive abilities like this, for example, you can charge. Like, look, I'm going to charge it. Whoa, God, that looked cool. And it did a lot more damage. It's actually shield as well. I think that on left bumper, I think that's like energy drain or shield drain. And it seems to uh, interfere with these guys or interfere with the robotic enemies. Correct. He's dead. Yeah. Oh, he just turned into smoke. Well, that was uh, embarrassing for me. Let's see if we can hit this guy. Oh, crap, grenade. Oh, it's a freaking turret, not grenade. Freaking little breacher. Damn! All right, let's get some uh, ammo. There we go. Can I put my turret down? Oh yeah, there we go. Got a turret down. I, I, I need to learn where to put the turrets as well, because uh, I just drop them down wherever I feel like it, when it, wherever is convenient and whenever is convenient. I need to start learning where to put them, sort of in the high traffic areas. So this place would be a very good area, like somewhere or along here. Seems like a lot of enemies move there. If your team's holding down this section and uh, you know loads of enemies around, you definitely put the turrets down here. Like I said in previous videos, I'll, I'll be doing sort of uh, guides talking about how to you know be really good at map control and work as a team or even do it solo and control the map solo um i'll be doing videos and, and guide videos i'll be doing it before the game releases most of them will come out when the game releases because i'll have more time with the game uh rather than just a limited amount of time but there'll also be a couple prior to the release there'll be a couple that i'll do in this uh, in this 10 hour ea access trial as well where, I, I don't even know where they, they come from. Do they just spawn out of nowhere? It does seem like they, they've come out of that ship, but I don't think they do. I think they just like spawn out of nowhere. Just sort of a pick. Yeah! Oh crap, we got a freaking breacher. Freaking, he was about to 
face attack me and launch onto my face like a little crab. Not that crabs do that, generally speaking, but he was about to attack me, which wasn't very good. Crap! Cra oh, damn, there's a lot of dudes there. These guys are, like, really interesting to fight against. Oh, my God, freaking destroy it, and I haven't got any Cobra missiles either. God damn! Oh, crap. Got wrecked! Uh, oh, no, this is getting tense. We might actually uh, get... Can oh, no, i got to back up. I forgot. Oh, yeah, I've got my turret. I'll drop the turret there. Trying to help my guys out over here. Oh, no! Oh, no! I'm tapping! I'm tapping! I'm tapping! Get away, space beast. Yeah! Freeze! Turn him into a freaking ice cube. Ice cube! All right, let's zap these guys. Oh, crap. That destroyer, if that destroyer makes around the corner, we are screwed. Get wrecked. Oh no, he's about to shoot. Crap. I gotta get up. I gotta get up and help this guy. Did someone take the destroyer out? They must have had a, a Cobra missile there. The destroyer. I haven't got any uh, missile missiles left. Because I'm saving my points up for uh, for the gold packs. How is he up? Oh crap, he's up there. I'm saving my points up for the gold packs as opposed to just buying the equipment packs, which cost a lot less, but obviously it just gives you equipment instead of good characters. I want to unlock good characters or like uh, some good weapons like the Revenant heavy machine gun. That would be really cool to get. Because I loved it in Mass Effect 3. Uh, it's like a very rapid fire machine gun. Heavy machine gun that is. I'd really love to get it in this uh, game. I wonder how it is as well. The guns are so just so well balanced in this as well. I would love to see it in this game. Oh crap! Is that a mine that someone's put down? Oh, yeah. Well, I just shot it. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's important, but I just shot it. Oh crap! Chicken walkers. I don't even know what these guys are called, technically. Get wrecked. Get frozen, boy. There we go. He's, he's frozen. So there we go. Wow, I really like this character, actually. Especially his uh, offensive abilities. The turret's great and everything, but... Uh, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> the, the turret is a turret. But the offensive abilities on left bumper and right bumper are really good. The, uh, the energy drain and... Cryo Blast. They're both really good. I really like them, actually. Let's just shoot this for good luck. I tend to do that in every one of my videos. At least I didn't walk into the explosive radius, though. Uh, I'm improving, guys. I'm improving. Oh, my God. That's a lot of enemies. That is a lot of freaking enemies. Get wrecked. Yeah. Crap. Wow, that was a really cool tech combo. All right, I gotta get this guy before he gets up. Yeah. How did that not damage him? Okay. All right, then. I see how it is. I see how it is, bro. Oh no, damn, this guy's actually freaking wrecking me. MLG Chicken Walker. And then he just jumps up. Jumps for joy at the end that he nearly killed me. Yeah! Freeze this guy. Oh crap, he needs help. Oh, he got a freaking destroyer. I can't even go and help him. I gotta, uh, gotta get my uh, turret out. Where's my turret? Where's my turret? Oh, my turret's there. Okay, here we go. Oh crap. Yeah! I'm gonna try and keep these guys busy. Oh crap, well, we gotta take the destroyer out. Is it uh, an assassination? Yeah, I think it is. We gotta take the destroyer out. God, those things are so difficult to take out when you haven't got Cobra missiles. Oh crap, oh crap! Oh no, I'm about to go down. I'm about to go down. Crap, I gotta. Oh my god, there's an enemy down there as well. God damn it. What? Is there a, a part of this map that there isn't in it, something in, in it that wants to kill me? Oh, we're gonna hack. We're not taking the destroyer out. We're gonna hack them. Alright, let's try and. Uh, oh my god, there's two destroyers. We gotta, really gotta team team up for this. Oh crap, I got my turret there that's doing a little bit of damage to that breacher up there. But he's not gonna do much damage. Because he's just a little baby turret. I'm gonna try and do my best to. Oh no, oh my god, those. Oh crap. I've got a heal pack, but if, uh, I'll use it if, right, i got to get myself up because it looks like these guys are in trouble, in serious trouble. We're actually at, at, at risk of getting killed by these dudes. Oh, we did it. Wow, we did it. Well, that was good. We pulled that one out. Yeah. God, that power is really cool. Even better now that I know you can charge it up. Put this down here. These destroyers are going to head around the corner. Uh, we'll put as much damage into them as soon as they come around this corner. Unless someone's got a freaking Cobra missile, we are probably screwed. Let's hit him with this. Oh crap, move dude! Oh, we're both walking into each other. Move! I think, oh my god, wow. Holy crap. What the hell was that? Right, I can't even get myself up, but I shouldn't have to. Come on, where are you going dude? That guy, guy's just wandering off. These guys gotta get me up. They're just wandering around. Is anyone gonna get me up? Please. He's about to freaking 
end me. Get me up, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Finally, Mr. Good Guy Solarian. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get wrecked. I gotta get out of it. We gotta move. Run. Freaking head. Everything's getting in my way. Crap. Oh, crap. Ah, oh, I can't get over the freaking wall. Right, come on. I don't know if my, uh, my turret's available, but if it is, I'm gonna put it down. Yeah, it is. All right, we'll put that down there. If we all uh, fire at this at the same time, it shouldn't be that difficult to take out. Correct! There we go. There we go. Did I get the kill for that? Holy crap, I think I did. Oh, crap, it's gonna blow. Those things look freaking badass. Oh, someone did a biotic uh, charge in it as well. That was just for a a a extra added um, awesomeness. Freeze this guy. Zap! Cryo combo, that was pretty damn cool. Somehow this guy that I'm playing at has managed to keep his hair perfectly uh, combed back. While still we've been going through this battle. Oh crap! Right, extraction right. As I've said in my other videos at this point, we're not... I hope these guys know this, but don't charge straight for the extraction zone. Lure the enemies to another area and then just make a dash for it at the end. Oh crap! Another fire! Shield dudes. Yeah! I think if you shoot them in the red part, the glowy part, it does more damage. I'm hoping, because that's where I've been shooting them for ages. Get wrecked! Oh crap, oh crap. Oh my god, he's about to kill me. He is about to kill me. Yeah, I'm freezing him. There we go, he's dead, he's dead. All right, all right, all right, all right. Why did he charge straight for the evac zone? Because they're just gonna get all the enemies quartered around them. And Oh yeah, we've got freaking destroyers as well, which is gonna make surviving down there a lot harder. Yeah! I'm gonna try and help my teammates out a little bit from up here. At this point, you should really put... That's actually a pretty good uh, tactic. If you have your team move down there and just get a sniper or a biotic up here, do some damage into them whilst they're distracted. If I go down now, I'm the, like, the worst team player ever because they'll have to come out of the evac zone through all of those enemies to revive me if they want a full extraction. But if I put a turret down there, that'll do some damage. Oh, crap, someone's gone down. What a surprise. Get wrecked. Yeah, the uh, freaking destroyer stood right on top of them. That's why. Oh, my freaking turret didn't even spawn before. Yep, two of them have gone down. I'm not even going to be able to get them up. That's the thing. I can't even get them up. Not in the middle of all that. The best thing we can hope for is a partial extraction where I'm the only survivor. Everyone is... I can't even get them. Oh, crap. Oh, no, bro. Someone's got to be in there. Otherwise, we don't get the extraction bonus. I'm going to I'm gonna make a dash for it at the end. I'm just going to make my dash soon. Right, I've got to dash for it. I've got to dash for it. No, run! Oh my god, did I actually just get taken down? Did anyone get extract? Oh, someone made it, someone made it, thank god, someone made it. So we got a partial extraction, we weren't going to get a full extraction because the team did exactly what I uh, thought they might do. Uh, they rushed straight for the evac zone, so... Uh, yeah, they rushed straight for the evac zone, and it, what that does, like I said in other videos, in case you haven't seen them though, it drags all of the enemies there, so you just get pinned down in that very small, very isolated evac zone, and you got to hold out there, and if one of those big chicken walker destroyer things walks up, you know, it takes hundreds of bullets to take one down, especially if you haven't got a, a Cobra missile launcher, and if it's got a bunch of those little floaty demon things around it, uh, they can just waltz right into that, that evac zone and kill you all, uh, you got to stay, and that happens on every map against every faction really any every enemy faction you got to stay the hell away from the evac zone and uh, only run for it in like the last 20 seconds and then hold it down and if you draw them all the way all the way to the other side of the map uh, they won't be able to chase you down unless it's the wraiths unless it's the freaking space dogs the other enemies won't be able to catch up with you um, and you, you won't really have any enemies around you at Evox Zone. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on this video. I would really appreciate it, and it would really help me out. If you want to see more of these videos, uh, guides of, you know, like I said earlier on in the video, guides of how to control the map and how to do well on uh, this game, and funny moments videos like this, then definitely stick around and subscribe on this, uh, uh, subscribe to this channel. There'll be plenty of Mass Effect Andromeda content. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.